Hi students, moving on to module 6, we have two parts. First is about morphological operation, which is a preface to the second part, a representation and description. So, in morphological operations, we are applying mathematical morphology to find uh, the various structures and shapes present in an image so that they can be used by methods like chain codes, polygonal approximation, etc. In the second part. So, first part in morphological operation, we are uh, making use of the basics of set theory. So, first we need to learn what is a two dimensional integer space. It is represented as Z square. So, consider a 3 by 3 image like this. And uh, we are considering the set of all white pixels. The set of all white pixels. So, these are white pixels. It's a binary image. So, other pixels values are zeros. So, in two dimensional integer space, the each element of the set is represented using a vector. Okay. And uh, that vector we can represent this uh, in a 2D integer space, the vector we can represent. Whatever uh, be the coordinate of 1, we represent it. It can be like 0, 0. This coordinate represents the one value then one one then two two so this is two dimensional integer space we are only representing the points where white coordinates white gray level values are present so each element of a set is a tuple it's a 2D vector whose coordinates are the XY coordinates of a white pixel in the image. If, if you are taking black, we are representing black as a uh, 2D vector. So, this is 2D space. Now, coming to 3 dimensional integer space. So, here along with the coordinates, okay, along with the coordinates, we have a third component. We have a third component that is uh, coordinates. Okay, along with that, we have a third component that represents the intensity or gray level value. Okay, so if it is a 3 bit image, the values ranges from 0 to 7, let it be 3. So this is a component. Okay, coordinate followed by integer value. Now, uh, we need to learn what is a reflection and translation. So, these are the next two topics, reflection and the translation. Now, you may be familiar with reflection in computer graphics. Here, we are representing refle reflection in terms of set theory. It is represented as B cap set w such that w equals minus b for small b element of capital B. Okay, so we have capital B, we have capital B, it is a set of pixels representing an object. Then, see, this is our b. B is represented here. See, it is a set of pixels that represent an object. This is the object in a plane. Then B cap. B cap. B cap means reflection is W equal to minus B. So, um, small b is a, is a single element of capital B. So, whatever be the value of uh, B in a a. In figure B, it is now minus B. That gives the reflection. Then about translation. Translation means it is getting translated by 
is a dwelling so every for every small b value in capital b this is each and every uh, b small b element of capital b it is getting translated by z so the way of representing is b translated by z points okay it is represented c such that c equals b plus z so here the b is getting translated by z points so translation of a set b by point z okay z has x value and y value because it is in a 2d plane it is denoted as b z and is defined as set c such that c equal to b plus z for every b points in capital b so this figure correctly depicts it so that is the basics of set theory 2d space 3d space reflection and translation which are the very basics of module 6 so that's all for this lecture thank you for listening